This video is about how I stuck the mast on my Siren 17 Solo. First thing is, I had to build a mast crutch beforehand. This was just some scrap material I had around the house and some line. I used an old bolt to go into the, is it the grudgeon or the pintle? I don't know. Then one line gets connected to the cleat on the starboard side. And then I take the second line forward to a um, cheapy plastic kind of zigzaggy cleat for I think um, fenders on the port side. This is normally where the mast is at when we arrive someplace. I slide it back. It'll need to be up on the support so that the um, vang, boom vang connection and the track for the um, boom, the, the gooseneck of the boom, won't hit the little blister or pop-up area of the cabin top because if it's allowed to lay flat, the foot of the mast would be several inches above the, the uh, tabernacle. So now I crawl up forward and put the bolt through the tabernacle and the mast. And I have to do this because in order to get the mast at an angle to slide into the tabernacle, I'd have to have a crutch probably another six feet higher <laughs> or something like that because the tabernacle has a, a lower slot that then goes upward a bit. Next, check the lines. Make sure things are kind of clear. Because now what I'm going to do is take the tail of the main sheet and feed it through the cam cleat and uh, fair lead eye for the Genoa sheets. Then I'll run that forward, making sure it's inside the shroud. I take the, the jib halyard with me. I wrap the sheet around the bow pulpit. That'll give me my, my uh, turning point. And then just attach it to the jib halyard with a bowling knot. up still making sure things are gonna run free it is a pain if uh, halyard or shroud something gets caught up when it's going up Now time to lift. I don't bother with any side shroud wires or ropes because the mast is pretty small. I would only guess maybe 25 pounds. So I just stabilize it port and starboard by hand. Okay, now I'm gonna put some tension on the halyard to get the mast forward a bit so I can connect the um, forestay and it's done. Thank you for watching.